Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to solve a visionaire and a Caesar cipher. So first we're going to start off with the visionaire. So I already have a visionaire here um, that I'm going to solve. And if you have a visionaire cipher on your own that you're going to solve, you can definitely follow along with your own. Or you can just quickly find one online and solve that one as well. Okay, so the first step to solving a visionaire is first finding out what you're solving for. So there's always three different parts to a visionaire. The key, the plain text, and the cipher text. Okay, so this line with all the letters, the random letters on it, is always called the plain text. And the line um, underneath of that is usually called the cipher text, which is the text with the quote that you're probably gonna um, decode. And up here on above the plain text is going to be the key. So you'll always have two out of three of these already given to you. So in my case, I already have the key given to me. So if you already have the key given to you, then you're supposed to fill out the key over and over again until it um, fills out all these letters. So for me, the key was simply just key, key, K-E-Y. So I'm just gonna fill that out. Okay, so I filled out my entire key and now it's time to um, start filling out the ciphertext row. So the way to do this is now we have to use this visionary table that you should have um, with you. So either you can like search up a version or if you have it printed out, then that's even better. So. This visionary table is going to be extremely helpful in solving the visionary cipher. So first, um, it's important to find out what each um, column and row on this table are for. Okay, so first, this top row, um, this entire row of letters over here is the ciphertext. And then the column over here is the key. And everything in here is the plain text. So the way that this works is that first, um, you take your the first row that you see over here. For me, it's the key. For some of you guys, it may be the plain text or the cipher text. So let me look at the key. And the first letter is K. So I find K on the key side over here. And I found it right over here. And then... Um, the plain text is inside of here, inside the table. So I find my K again, and then my first plain text letter that's right under the K is D. So now I go along the K row, then I have to find D on here, which is right over here. And then I go up and I land on T. So that, and T is in my ciphertext row. Now I can figure out that my first letter in the ciphertext is T. And next, um, I'll show you guys one more example in this E. So I find E on the key column. So E is right over here. And then I find L inside of the table. So I go along the E row. And then I found L right here. And then I go up to ciphertext row. And it's H. And the next letter in the ciphertext is H. And then I'm going to do this for the rest of the table. I'm going to use my key and I'm going to use my um, plain text to figure out what the ciphertext is. And I will also show you guys what to do if you have the other um, two uh, rows filled out. Like, for example, if you have the plain text and ciphertext, but you need to figure out what the key is, then I can also show you guys that. Okay, so I figured out my entire cipher text. Okay, so say that your ciphers told you that you had, um, that the last four letters were P, H, E, and R, and you had the entire plain text. Then what you need to figure out is the key so you can figure out the rest of the cipher text. So this is what you would have. You would just have the last four letters of your cipher text and the entire plain text. So in this situation, you would go to the last letter of the cipher text, which is R, and then go over here to ciphertext row, find R right over here, and then plain text is still in the middle. So now you need to find P over here, and it's over here for me, all the way down at the bottom. 
I'm going to follow it down to the key column where I find Y. So now I know that the last letter of the key um, is Y. So I've put that over there. And next is E. So then I find E on the ciphertext row. I go down and, until I get to I, and then I go to the left and I find E. So then the next letter of my key is E. Next is I need to find P, sorry, I need to find H on the ciphertext, which is right over here. Go down to R, go to the left and K. And then, oh, sorry, I meant A. And it's K. And after K, um, we have one more thing, which is P to N. So find P on ciphertext, go down to N, and it is Y. So now we are once again back at Y, so you know that the entire key is just P. So now I can fill out the entire key and um, solve the entire Visionaire cipher like that. Okay, so a Caesar cipher is very simple to solve after you get through the first step. So basically, a Caesar cipher is where you shift all the letters. So for example, there might be a shift of two. So like if this was E, then you would go forward two letters, so then E, F, G, so then this would now be G, and then Y, Z, A, so then Y would be A, W would be X, Y, so then W would be Y. So the hard part about the Caesar cipher is finding out how much letters the shift is by, but after that, it's really easy, honestly. So this is a pretty basic cipher right here I have. So um, E and W are both single letters. So I know that um, one of them has to be I and one of them has to be A. So I would suggest going through like um, testing both letters out. So I can like test that um, first E is A and W is I. So to do that, I would just count that to get from E to A, how many letters would I have to go? I would have to go back D, C, B, A. So that would be back four, and then testing with W, um, that should bring me back to I, which um, V, U, T, R, R is not I. So W is not I and E is not A, so it's not a shift of four. Okay, so now let's test out whether E is I. So that would go, E, F, G, H, I, a shift of four forwards. And then testing W is I, that, um, testing W is A, I mean, you would have to go four forward again. So W, X, Y, Z, A, that is four. So I figured out that the Caesar cipher is a shift of four. Then um, for the next part, it can be really easy as long as you have like any sort of a table with like all the, the entire alphabet written out. For that, I'm just using the visionary cipher table, but it can be anything with just all 26 alphabets. Um, and now just to make it easier on yourself, just um, write the, like rewrite the entire alphabet, but with the shift of four. So like I would write that E is I, and then F would be um, J, G would be, K and so on. Okay, so there you go. I filled out on the alphabet with a shift of four. So now I can just go straight to E over here, go up. So the first letter is I, and then next I find Y over here, go up, it's C, and then I'll just do that for the rest of the cipher. So you find W, go up, A. Okay, so there you go. I've solved the entire thing. And you can see it was really simple, really quick, just like fill out the entire table and um, with the shift of how many ever letters your cipher is, and you'll be able to get it in no time. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I hope you guys learned how to solve a visionary and Caesar cipher. And if you did, please drop a like down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>